So if you are a designer, whether that's a logo designer, brand designer, interior designer, whatever it is, you design things for your clients. Chances are you're gonna to want to go through a stage where you collect information about what your client preferences are and maybe create some kind of visual mood board. In this video, I'm gonna show you my process for doing this and hopefully give you some tips for how to create your own client mood boards. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna from buyersanna.co.uk. I am a designer and online educator, and here on YouTube, I share videos to do with design, business, productivity, and all that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're there. So despite what many people may think, the mood board stage of a design project isn't trivial, it's not easy or basic, it is actually one of the most important stages because a mood board will give the overall feel, the overall vibe of a project. So it is really important to get this right, I'm going to show you through my process of what I used to do for my logo and brand design clients. So the first step of the process would be to obviously have some kind of initial call with the client to get a feel for their project, whether that is their logo, their brand, their website, whatever it is you're working on. You really want to understand the values and the essence of a project and keep an ear open for any words that keep coming up, specifically adjectives like cozy or modern and things like that make notes of those while you're actually talking to the client in person and then the other thing that i like to do after the initial call is send through a questionnaire so this will include loads of other questions to do with the project specific details as well but on there you want to have a space where you are talking about their target audience their ideal customer who is it they actually want to appeal to with their brand or their website or if it is about an interior project maybe you want to ask more about them how they use the space that kind of thing ask them to describe in adjectives what the feel is and the vibe is that they want to achieve from this project and anything that they personally like or dislike in terms of colors in terms of atmospheres things like that another thing that you can do in your questionnaire is leave space for people to link to websites or mention brands that they are inspired by for this project and it doesn't have to be in the same space that they're looking at it doesn't have to be interior design brands and it doesn't have to be in the industry that their business is going into if you're designing a logo it could be something totally different that they just like aspects of the feel of that brand so they could like the fact that Apple has a lot of white space and is clean and modern but that might not have anything to do with their brand one example of this that I use for my own brand as inspiration of the kind of aesthetic and the vibe that I want to create is the skincare brand Aesop because their whole image their whole logo their colors their whole feel that they create on their website and everything is very similar to what I want to achieve with my own brand. Very calming, very natural, things like that. Once your questionnaire is done, you could just leave them to go away and gather inspiration from magazines or websites and send you clippings of images themselves. But that's quite a lot of effort if they don't really know what they're doing. So the best way that I like to create more of a visual hands-on interactive exercise for them is to create a shared Pinterest board. So if you don't have Pinterest already, definitely create an account. And what you can do is just create a board on your account, name it the client name, let's call it uh, Mill End. This is a hotel brand that I was doing this for. Um, and then what you can do is select to keep this board secret so it won't appear on your page. Click create. Then you'll have your board. I've already started filling this in and you can add the client to this board. So click add, send them a link to join or add in their email address so that they can collaborate on this board as well. What you might want to do if they've never used Pinterest is send them some instructions on what to do and the kind of things to search for. But what you want to basically do is send them off and to search for images, search for words on Pinterest that are related to what they've said they want their brand feel to be like. So in this case, I've actually gone and filled a lot of this out myself. But let's say that this hotel kept mentioning that they like the idea of having a cozy feel. So maybe I would simply type in cozy and search all pins on Pinterest for that. 
and it's going to come up with a lot of different styles of imagery, probably very autumnal, but something like this, for example, maybe that fits with the overall aesthetic and what they've said to me. Maybe they've also mentioned words such as natural, um, warming, that kind of thing. And what I can then do is select the board that I've just created and click save. Then what you can do is go over to your board that you've created and see all of the images that you've pinned to it. As I say, you want to encourage your client to be doing this. Then once they're kind of done with what they've added to it, you can also add things too. And this is a step that I used to miss out on um, years and years ago. I wouldn't, I would just kind of keep what they'd added to the board and I wouldn't add my own. But as designers, you want to add in your own interpretation of what they've told you because they might be missing something. So you also want to go off and find images, type in lots of different words to do with their brand that you've come up with and then start pinning things. What you can also do on Pinterest, which is really useful, is click on an image that you like and if you scroll down, it will also show you more suggestions of images like that. When you go to your board, you can also click on more ideas um, and it will show you more ideas that are very similar to the aesthetic that you've got on there already. Once that's done, we actually want to compile this into a more refined mood board where the overall feel is more cohesive. What you want to do is scroll through the board and ideally have more pins than this. This is just an example. I'd usually suggest 30 plus so that then you can start to pull out colors that are very similar, patterns that are repeating themselves and coming up in this process. But what you can do is just save all of the images that you think are relevant. Just click on them, right click, click save and save them to your computer, save them to a folder. Then what you want to do is head over to your design software. I personally just use Canva for this because it makes it really easy and create a design. You can use one of their pre-made templates or create a custom size. I'm just going to create it as a pin graphic size so that it looks like this. Then what I like to do is go to elements and scroll down until you get to grids. And then you've basically got all of these options for photo collages. So just keep scrolling until you find one with some a variety of space and shapes. I'm going to probably go ahead and use this one and just drag it into the space and it will fill your template. Then what you can do is go to upload and upload all of the images that you've saved from your Pinterest board. This is then gonna upload them all here on the left hand side and you can start dragging them and dropping them into place. Um, I like to just fill it up to start with, with totally random ones that I've saved and then play around with it once I've dragged these all in. So you've got the bare bones basics of a mood board here, but obviously you're gonna to want to move and tweak these around so that the colors all work together, the patterns all work together, and you've created a vibe that you can sense is fitting with the goal of the project. On Canva as well, you don't have to just use these image grids. You can add things like shapes and pick out different colors from the images. Canva has this really useful feature where if you click on the color, it will then pick out some of the color palettes that you see in the images as well so you can start picking out various colors choosing other colors that are featured in this board and this starts to become the color palette for the project so once you're happy with how that is all looking you can then download it just click share and go to download to download it as a jpeg file for branding projects i like to add this into a brand strategy kind of guide here so that you've got all the images and the vibe that you're trying to achieve and then some words to help describe it on the left hand side as well i've also done this for my own brand as well which you can see these are the kind of colors that i've picked out and I've even got a quote added in here and you just can kind of get a feel for what I want to achieve with the whole style of my brand just from looking at that mood board but I've also included words and similar brands and things like that that I'm inspired by there as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you like videos like this, please do remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video and I will see you again soon with another one. Thank you.